Emily, welcome to Super Talk Show. It's so nice to have you joining us from China. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm honored to be here. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, I'm honored to be hosting you. Then, um, <laughs> you know, you're joining us because you you just got into YYGS, Yale Young Global Scholars for the audience. Um, it's a super prestigious program hosted by Yale University, and you know, so many high school students want to apply for it. I just did the Google research, and it seems like you know there's almost a 13 percent acceptance rate. That's super low. Um, so I just want to ask you, actually, just get started. Can you give us a brief introduction about yourself before we jump in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. So some basic information about me. Um, like Adi said, uh, my name is Molly, and um, I'm a grade eleven student in Canada right now. Well, right now I'm in China, but I'm <laughs> I'm um I'm taking high school in Canada, Toronto, Canada, and um. I'm a passionate musician, a passionate activist, and I'm a devoted writer and poet as well. And um, there's just a lot of things I do, you know, high school exploration and stuff. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess my first question for you would just be, you know, like, why did you apply to Yale Young Global Scholars in the first place? Um, I know that was a question on the application. So I want to hear like, what was your answer to that? Yeah, so, well, my informal answer would be that I always loved Yale, and I just want to, you know, explore the campus, but I, obviously I didn't put that in my answer, like, I didn't cover that by a, on a large scale in my answer, just briefly mentioned it, but I think a, a main thing that also got me interested in YYGS is that they have a program, I applied to the LP. LPC program, the Literature, Philosophy, and Culture program, which just matched my interest perfectly because I want to use music and arts as a conduit for change, as um, something that I use um, as an activist. That you know, because there are there were so many great musicians like Stevie Nicks, like um, sorry, <laughs> my mind is not processing right now. Um, yeah, Joni Mitchell and um, David Bowie. So many of them used music as something um, for change, as something for social justice. And um, I just think this program would bring me a lot of, you know, more, in, a lot more insights into this um, field and also inspire me to, um, inspire me to um, use music as a tool for social change. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I know there was like a lot of course offerings. So I guess that you also touch on why you chose that course. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I I think I saw somewhere that you apply for session three. I mean, you got in for session three. Did you fill in yeah. three sessions? Because I know personally for me, I only did for one. I don't know if that affected anything, but what was your like way of mitigating that? Um, well, technically, I'm free throughout all three sessions. So I did say on the application that I'm free through all three sessions, but I did. Um, sorry, there was some notifications going on. I'm just going to set it to oh. um, focus mode. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so I did say I'm free throughout all three sessions, but I also um, emphasized that I would prefer the session that I chose because that would give me time for other stuff that I'm planning to do in the summer, like uh, writing music, like writing poems, like planning ahead for the school year, what I'm going to do as um, a co-head for an activism um, affinity group in our school. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. So I guess I want to get into like the bulk of your application, like for your essay, um, you know, what did you talk about? And oh, yeah. Just in general, like, can you elaborate on what you wrote for the essay? Yeah, so I think my essay was very, like, focused on the course of the program that I chose. Um, like I said, I chose the Literature, Philosophy, and Culture program. So my essay was very um, arts and music and social change heavy. Um, I talked about how my identity as an autistic person um, shaped me and how that um, how there was, like, a process for me to realize I didn't need to change anything about myself instead what needed to change was the society and I should be a force of change and how I could use my arts 
as something that I use to make this change happen. And so, yeah, it's very like, it's just very focused on that one program that I want to get into. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually the perfect gateway to like my next question, because, you know, last year you also actually, let's say last school year, um, when you were in 10th grade, you got, I think it's the gold. I don't know the name, the, the first place anyhow, for um Harvard International Review, something with a research. I'm not sure if it, it's the uh writing contest, but you did a research yes. paper about like autism in general as the uh, as the topic. Um so can you talk to us like what was that competition? Because I think if you wrote it on your YYGS application, that might have played a big part since it also correlates with the program you applied for. Um, So can you just talk about like that experience last year with Harvard International Review? Yes, of course. So I agree that competition definitely played a big role in my application uh, to YGS. And um, that competition, according to my knowledge, is that is like about um, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And um, I think there were two categories. One is like short short form so it's like 800 words um like a a shorter essay to talk about you know um a designated topic i think last year it was no sorry this year it was um there's no planet b and then there was also um a long form um category which was 2000 to 4000 or 5000 i couldn't ex- remember the exact number but it's a longer one very long and it's basically like it asks you to do a research paper on one of the unsdg goals i couldn't remember the topic for um this year but last year was i think it was like pick whichever you want from the 16 or mm-hmm. i think it was 16 That's sdg easy. goals and uh yeah i picked equity and um so I, so I talked about autism and how that re- correlates with equity and um, neurodiversity. So, yeah. Mm. Wow. Um, I, I definitely know about like the short form one, but I don't know where you found the long form one. Um, I did a lot of research, but didn't find that. So, right. I think you finish it on, cr- not Christmas, but New Year Eve, right? Last year. Um. <laughs> So what was that experience like? How long did it take you to write 4,000 or 2,000 words? I'm assuming it's a long time. I read, I read your paper. It was really good. So I'm scared of how much time you inputted into making that happen. Well, first, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and um, it took me, it took me, let's just say it's hard. It's really hard, but also um it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be because it's like us writing a paper is probably like a first time thing for every high schooler. And we would find it really scary to do something this big. And, um, but I think it's important to really be present when you're writing things. Like when you're doing this big project, you have to say that I'm doing this right now. And, um, and I'm building on the blocks I've already built. And, um, one day I'll get there. And this, this is the mindset I used when I was writing my paper. And um, it, it, I think it spanned for like four to five months. I couldn't remember exactly, but it was really long. But every day I kept thinking, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and um, I'm building on stuff. I'm um, Eventually, I'll get to something I'm really proud of. And um, and eventually, I really did. And um, it's it's a pleasant, but also hard, but also still pleasant experience. Hmm. Wow. So I okay. I think that covers a lot about like that specific essay. Uh, well, Harvard International Review um award. So I just want to ask, like, what else did you have in your application? Um, that I think made you stand out among like thousands of applicants this year. I know it was a lot because it said so on my deferred letter. <laughs> um. So I, well, first, of course, I put in the Harvard International Review Academic Writing Contest thing. I also did another um, competition that's on uh, academic papers and essays, John Locke uh, essay competition that was hosted by Oxford University and Princeton University. 
Um, and it's so hard. It's I I spent like three months on it and I got a high commission, which is still pretty good. But there are people who got like prizes, like third place, second place. They are so Molly, good. They're, they're insane. Molly, <laughs> don't worry. You're doing great. I, I, did, I went for it like for two years and I got nothing. Also, my friends. So it, it's so hard. There's so much applicants because it's free and everything. So, wow. High commendation. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, and also I wrote about um, I'm I'm a part of choir. We had like two choirs in our school, senior and chamber choir. One is like a little bit less um selective and competitive. It's like fifty people or something, and the other one's like more dedicated and more selective and harder. They pick harder songs to sing, and uh, that's chamber choir. So I have experiences in both choirs uh, for three three years ish, and uh, I also put that in because I think that's a big part of my life, music, and also my I also put my experience as a singer, songwriter, and um, as a guitarist. Um, a still learning keyboardist and um, just a lot of music stuff um, to really correlate with my essays and correlate with the personality that I showed in my um, whole application. And um, hmm, is there anything else? Uh, right. I also um, talk about my experience as a poet. Um, I write. I write poems a lot. I have like 150 poems in... English right now so yeah it's a lot like I really love to write so yeah um so that's basically it like I think overall from my speaking from my own experience I think it's just really important to build um a clear personality um something you have like you have to have like maybe two or three really clear lines that you want to follow for example, my lines was like autism, uh, writing, and uh, music. And I just really tried my best to demonstrate these three things. Mm, okay. So like sort of telling a story through your application, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Wow. I, yeah, I ran out of questions. Well, I guess I want to ask, you know, you did John Locke, which is crazy. And you got high commendation. You did uh HIR essay a competition so I guess how do you balance all your time you know you wrote 150 poems how we all have 24 hours in our lives every day so do you spend some time writing do you dedicate like a certain amount every day after school or what's your time management strategy so that to make sure that you can do all these things that you're doing yeah, of course. I think that's a really great question because that's a question that I ask myself and everybody around me all the time um, because I think as high schoolers, we really struggle with that. We have so much we have to do and so little time. Um, I think the, I, well, my strategy is basically I I basically um, have some time slots, um, some rough time slots that plan out. Um, for example, uh, my school ends at 3.30. So from four to maybe five I do music production and from five to five thirty I just rest and five thirty from to five from five thirty to six I eat dinner and then after that maybe I do some guitar I write my homework and um, when I'm about to sleep I just write some poems um etc I don't necessarily follow these perfectly because I think there are so many nuances in life that you just can't control and maybe sometimes you just want to sleep for half an hour um just rest <laughs> and um yeah I think um it's not I think we don't have to make like a really tight schedule that we want to follow perfectly that is really stressful for some people and of course some people might find it really easy to follow through and um, I support that uh, I think it's great that they find some ways that work for them but for other people they might want to just use similar strategies and um, just to formulate a rough plan and um, deal with the nuances that might happen so yeah mm. yeah I think that's well said there's like so much stuff going on and sometimes it changes it pivots the way you don't want it to so definitely being you know I, I don't know what's the word, but sort of being able to adjust to these is also important, especially with a really heavy schedule. 
Um, so yeah, I guess to end the interview, I want to ask a question I ask all the guests on Super Talk Show. It's a tradition here now. Um, if there's any quotes from you, um, like, or any just like final tips for our super audience, what would it be, um, you know, coming from you, Molly, as a writer, a poet? Um, I think that one sentence would probably be just be you. Everything, everything before your eyes doesn't matter as long as you're you. And um, yeah, in college applications in anything, just be you. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, I I would need some time to like adhere to that. Um, but yeah, I I think thank you so much for being on Super Talk Show. It's really great to have you here with us and hearing all thank the awards. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Um, bye. <laughs>